Well, my wife's got her working on um, one of her fish tank stands, and uh, she got these things. She bought them off the fish store. That's all well and good. And you can see on the bottoms, they've got these adjustable feet, which is just a bolt and a nut running through, uh, welded into a plate. But they're too tall to go in the house. So I'm having to cut them off and they're just too tall. So I'm cutting off that extra about two inches and then welding the same sort of um, adjustable assembly on the bottom of the leg. So I kind of skipped it and show you guys, but I did this yesterday. Went, cut them off, ground them, mostly smooth, smooth enough. I mean, this is this is nothing that has to be real professional. Smooth enough, and now I'm working on um, making the new little plates. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, got one in here that's cooling off. So here's the first one I've done, and it doesn't look pretty because I haven't ground it or done anything with it. I'll grind all those burrs off of it, and then weld it on, and of course grind the welds. But um, just measuring roughly an inch and a quarter square, it's an inch and a quarter stock, and uh, then drill a hole, you know, mostly through the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. This one's not perfect. Um, drill a hole through the middle, and then we'll take a little tool bag here. It's got a nut and a bolt, and it'll go on just like that. So the nut will be welded, and then the bolt will just thread through it. And the excess of the bolt, of course, will be able to go... Um, the excess of the bolt will just stick through the hole. So that's that's the idea. You're drilling the hole, um, you know, larger than the bolt, so it has that slop. So we'll get four of these puppies cut out, and then weld the nuts on, and then weld this whole plate assembly onto the bottom of the leg. So I've got my bar set up here with the first one, so let's go ahead and get this one drilled. We're gonna get a little bit of penetrating oil, just keep it lubed up. And let's get it drilled out here. set up here I think y'all can see and I've got I'm gonna weld the nut first and then we'll weld the plate to the leg so I've got my ground clamp hooked up over here and I've just stuck the bolt through for now just to make sure that it fits through and it's kind of centered and hopefully my ground clamp is actually hooked to the stand itself not to my tool so hopefully this will work like a welding table and I can pop it on there so let's just see real quick how she goes. Alright, there we go. pretty good I mean really it looks like pretty much like crap but I never claimed to be a certified welder so that'll hold for sure anyway all right got them ground down so now we'll see if we can't tack them on I don't like the way it's shaped up the nuts welded um, they're cockeyed because as I welded them they got hot and they shrunk on this side so all the nuts are on a little bit of an angle, but I don't think it's really going to matter. We'll put little shoes, a little scrap of wood underneath each one. So even if it's not perfectly level, it'll be okay. All righty. Here goes nothing. Or something. going to be a lot of grinding homework to do. Somebody asked if I was welding Crocs. Yeah, I'm stupid.
All right, it's good enough. You guys get the idea. Weld it on and grind it down to make it look pretty and get her in the house. Okay, so I forgot to show you guys the one step where I was grinding on them, but I got them all welded up tight and got the feet welded on. I think I showed you welding them on, but you can see now how it works. They just bolts can thread in and out. And you don't need a whole lot of extension. They're about an inch long at most, but that's more than enough to get them all welded up. So I put a little bit of penetrating oil on them just to make sure they all run in and out real easy. And uh, I think we're going to try to carry it in the house here in a little bit and get it stood up.